皆さんこんにちは。理工学部英語授業十一。So this is the last part of today's section, and this section is about how the technology has been changed in the last five years, so that you can understand the massive changes of the technology during last five years, so that you can also predict what. Gonna be happen in the next uh, <clears throat> five years or next ten years. Well, so this is basically you can see here the iPhone Pro Max, and here I have taken two things. The number one is how many transistor inside the iPhone, and also the technology. So technology belongs to a system that the number of transistor density so that means if the technology is less you can accumulate more transistor so here in iphone 12 pro max we have how many um 11.8 billion transistor and we have five nanometer technology so after one year in iPhone 13 Pro Max, the transistor, the number of transistor has been changed, and also it gonna it goes to 15 million, and the technology is remain the same, right? So within the year, the number of transistor has been changed in a drastic way, and after one more year. If you look at here, you can find that the technology has been changed to the four nanometer, four nanometer, while the number of transistor is 16 billion. So it gradually increasing every year. Go to the next one, which is iPhone um, 14 Pro Max, 15 Pro Max, right? I'm sorry. Oh, so it is a 15 Pro Max in 20. 2023 right well so here oh, sorry in 2024 last year is a 19 billion transistor and the world fastest fastest three nanometer technology so now let's move to the slide and discuss about the changes well so you just uh, we just discuss about the changes of the smallest device smartphone now I'm going to move the biggest one, which is the supercomputer. Look at here. Here is the supercomputer in five years before and the last year. So five years before, it was uh, Fugaku, the Japanese supercomputer, which is the wor world world fastest supercomputer. But now it's replaced by another one. The last year it was Frontier, the ex exact skill American supercomputer. Well, now let's move to the slide again. As of today, 2015 November, this, cap, this supercomputer is the world first aid. So again, it changed. If I, if I summarize this, I have to say this is a supercomputer is an extremely powerful machine designated to perform the complex calculation at incredible speed far beyond the capability of normal computer. It is used for advanced scientific research such as climate modeling, space exploration, medical simulation, and nuclear safety analysis. The world's first supercomputer help countries to solve large scale problems by processing huge number of data. In just second so now this is the time to think rethink finally now this is the word time for explaining your classwork look at here in the left side there are the version of iPhone and in the left side these are the smartphone uh, supercomputer so after listening the lecture now it is the time to think how 
the technology has been changed. The smallest smartphone to a biggest supercomputer changed throughout the year. And finally, your work is to read the Japanese paragraph carefully, which is the summary of all lecture in English. This part and understand this part and then move to Google. So read the QR code after carefully read this QR code again memorize the thing that I am going to tell and write it down in English in the Moodle. Here is the QR code. Pause the video and scan the code. It will redirect you to the page where I wrote the summary in Japanese. You remember you need to translate not using any tools write by your own so even couple of sentence is also fine but do not generate it using any AI tools or internet and submit it to the Moodle so I will check it out and give you a comment so thank you very much let's move to the QR code again